Welcome back to the Steris Animal Health Endoscopy Reprocessing video series. Step 3. High-Level Disinfection and Storage The final step in reprocessing is high-level disinfection and storage. High-level disinfection destroys viable microorganisms and decreases the risk of cross-contamination. To disinfect the endo-eye, the following items are needed. A Revitalox storage container and lid, a clean 60 milliliter syringe, lint-free cloth, cotton swabs, distilled water, alcohol, prevention HLD-8 high-level disinfectant, and personal protective equipment. Prevention HLD-8 is a ready-to-use, fast, safe alternative to commonly used aldehyde solutions. In oxidative chemistry, Prevention HLD-8 uses only 2% accelerated hydrogen peroxide, eliminating staff and patient exposure hazards. First, fill the Revitalox container with fresh Prevention HLD-8 to a point where the endo-eye could be fully immersed. Note that no activation or dilution is required with this product. Immerse the endo-eye in the HLD-8 high-level disinfectant solution. To flush the biopsy port with HLD-8, Fill the syringe with solution to the 50 milliliter mark, insert the syringe into the biopsy port cover opening, and flush. Repeat three or more times. Confirm that no bubbles emerge from the distal tip of your scope. If you do observe bubbles, repeat the flush again. Repeat a similar process to flush the air water channel with disinfectant. Fill the syringe and flush the air channel. Repeat once. Repeat the process, pushing down on the air water valve to flush the water channel. Repeat flushing the water channel again. Confirm that no bubbles emerge from the distal tip of your scope. If you do observe any bubbles, repeat the flush again. Next, remove the accessories from the scope and add them to the disinfectant solution. Remove the biopsy port cover from the control body with its cap open and place it in the Revitalox container. Do the same for the air water inlet cover, again, keeping the cap open, as well as the air water cleaning adapter. Place both in the container with the disinfectant solution. Place the air water valve in the container now. Gently agitate the endoscope and its accessories. Wipe away any bubbles on the surface of the device with a clean, lint-free cloth. Cover the Revitalox container with its lid and leave your endo-eye and its accessories submerged for 8 minutes in the high-level disinfectant. After the 8-minute disinfectant cycle, it's time to rinse and dry the scope. First, remove the endo-eye and its accessories from the high-level disinfectant solution and set it aside. Reattach the biopsy port cover. Now flush the biopsy channel with air, repeating once. Repeat a similar process to flush the air water channel with air. Reattach the air water inlet cover and air water cleaning adapter. Fill the syringe with air and flush the air channel. Repeat once. Repeat the process, pushing down on the air water valve to flush the water channel. Repeat flushing the water channel again. Fill a separate container, preferably another Revitalox container, with distilled water to a point where the endo-eye could be fully immersed. Place the endo-eye and detached air water valve into the container of distilled water. Now, flush the air channel with distilled water. To flush the air channel with distilled water, fill the syringe with water to the 50 milliliter mark. Insert the syringe tip into the air water inlet cover and flush. To flush the water channel with distilled water, Fill the syringe with water to the 50 milliliter mark. Insert the syringe tip into the air water inlet cover and press down on the air water cleaning adapter to flush. Remove the biopsy port cover from the control body, the air water inlet cover from the electronics module, the air water cleaning adapter from the air water cylinder, and place each accessory in the container of distilled water. With a clean, lint-free cloth, Wipe down all exterior surfaces of the endoscope and its accessories. Remove the scope and its accessories from the rinse container and place in a dry, clean Revitalox container. Now that the endoscope is clean and in a dry container, we will proceed to flush all components with air. 
Reattach the biopsy port cover and flush the biopsy channel with air. Repeat once. Reattach the air water inlet cover and air water cleaning adapter. To flush the air water inlet cover with air, fill the syringe with air to the 50 milliliter mark. Insert the syringe into the air water inlet cover and flush. Repeat a similar process to flush the water channel with air, pressing down on the air water cleaning adapter to flush. Now remove the accessories from the scope and place in a clean basin. Finally, dry all exterior surfaces of the scope with a lint-free cloth. Using cotton swabs, thoroughly dry the internal surfaces of the biopsy port opening and the air water cylinder. Dry all interior and recessed areas of the biopsy port cover, air water inlet cover, air water cleaning adapter, and air water valve using cotton swabs. Reattach the biopsy port cover and flush the biopsy channel with alcohol. Repeat once. Flush the biopsy channel with air. Repeat once. Reattach the air water inlet cover and air water cleaning adapter. Flush the air channel with alcohol. Flush the water channel with alcohol, making sure to press down on the air water cleaning adapter. Repeat the same process with air for both the air and water channel. Remove the accessories, the biopsy port cover, air water inlet cover, and air water cleaning adapter. The final drying process follows the same procedure as before. Dry all exterior surfaces with a dry lint-free cloth and use cotton swabs to dry internal and recessed areas of the scope and its accessories. The scope is now ready for storage. Do not store the endoscope in its carrying case for prolonged periods of time. Doing so may cause the insertion tube to develop memory. The carrying case is meant for procedural transport only. Instead, the disinfected endoscope should be stored in a storage cabinet with its insertion tube hanging vertically, ready for the next procedure. This concludes our endoscopy reprocessing video series. For all your veterinary endoscopy needs, visit us online at sterisanimalhealth.com and thanks for watching.